morning guys welcome or welcome back to the channel so today's video is what i eat in a day on our weight loss journey so i'm currently following a calorie deficit to try and lose weight and we're gonna jump straight into breakfast so i actually prepped breakfast yesterday i did two portions so this is the second portion and i'm just gonna heat it up and plate it and put some fat free fruit yogurt briefly we'll go through what's in it so i like said i made two portions so i use four small apples peeled chopped and then i kind of just heated it on the stove for about 10 minutes just soften it up a little bit for the crumble we used 80 grams of oats one egg and 20 grams of a vanilla protein powder um and i think that oh and some cinnamon as well so we just mix that up put that on top of the apple and then popped it in the oven but i will pop all the details in the description below as well I'll also pop the calories and protein on the screen because half has got my phone, so I can't double check. It's around about 330 something calories. Um, so let's pop it in the oven. So here's this morning breakfast, guys. So we've got the crumble just here. As you can look, it's a decent portion. It's so delicious. The smell's coming off it. It's just 10 out of 10. And then we've got fat-free yogurt here, fat-free Greek yogurt here, just to get that extra bit of protein as well. And it just, yeah, it just brings it all together. So this is this morning's breakfast and it is, it's a good breakfast, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to make it dinner in a minute, but I'm just gonna have a coffee first. We've been to the library today, so the kids' book sofa, and we've been on the park as well. So we've had a good morning walking about, getting our steps in. I haven't actually worked out for a few days or been on a run. I've been really demotivated when it comes to working out. So I need to get myself back in the headspace. Once I'm in it, I'm fine, but once I get out of it, <laughs> it's hard to get back in it. But that's what we've been doing this morning so far. Now the kids want sausages for dinner, well, lunch today. So um, I think I'm just gonna have the same, to be honest. I think I'm just gonna have something really simple, sausage carbs, something like that. Sun shining, sit in the garden, eat that. Um, yeah, and then have something maybe a little bit more nutritious for tea tonight. But that's the great thing about being on a weight loss journey and counting calories instead of being on Slimming World. I can be a little bit more flexible with my food. Obviously, it's always better to go for the healthier options. Um, but those days where you fancy something like that, then that is still an option as well. I have got quite a bit of fruit I need to get through because it's it's looking like it's seen better days. So we'll do a bit of a fruit salad or something a little bit later on as well. Um, so for now, I'm gonna make a coffee and then I will check in with you when uh, my lunch is cooked and ready to eat up. So we have a simple sausage sandwich for lunch. Snack time was just a watermelon, trying to get through that fruit. And then for tea tonight, we had these chicken wraps. It's got salad, it's got cheese, marinated chicken, so I'm just cooking, it's the next day now, and I'm just actually cooking tea for tonight. But I thought I'd let you know how I've got on, and also I've done my weekly weigh-in, so you'll get my weigh-in result for this week as well. So I'm going to pop on the screen here what calories, protein, and things like that I ended with today. And let's just have a quick discussion about this week's weigh-in results, how I felt this week, and whether I've lost anything, gained anything, or maintained so this week has been a, an odd old week, I'm not going to lie. Um, I found it really difficult to stop motivated. Nothing in particular. I just lost my mojo. I just lost all motivation. I don't know what it was. Um, the last couple of weeks before that, I was getting up early in the morning. Um, even the night before, I was thinking, oh, I don't really want to get up early in the morning. But my alarm would go off at 6 o'clock. I would get straight up and go straight out for my jog. <laughs> I just need to stir my chicken. I'm back. So the first two weeks I felt really motivated and then this week it's just gone like downhill and it's been things like I'll take the kids out somewhere and usually I would just have like a coffee or I'll take some like a little snack with me um, or even just have something small but I just haven't been doing that. I've been like oh yeah I'll have a sausage roll as well or oh, I'll have a cake as well and it's like 
all these like oh i'll have this and i'll have that nipping to the co-op just picking something up while i'm there walking back with it and eating it lighting keeps changing because i haven't got my my tripod broken so i'm kind of leaning somewhere where well i've got a bit of light um yeah so i it's just been like that willpower has been completely gone this week and it's been like not wanting to get up for my jog, not wanting to do any form of exercise. I've been hitting like my 10k steps every day because I do that naturally because I'm a busy old mother. Um, so I've been doing that naturally, but everything else has just kind of gone out the window. I've had a few days on plan, but mostly off plan if I'm completely honest. Um, yeah, a bit, I'm a little bit disappointed this week that I, I felt like I was really in the zone and then I've just this week has just completely fell like off the rails when it comes to food and exercise. I say that but I haven't like had the urge to binge and I think that's been the great thing about calorie counting because even when I'm on plan I'm still having these little treats so when I actually go off plan I don't feel the need to binge on certain foods which is like a realization that I've just got in my mind here that I haven't been doing that I've been having like a chocolate bar but I've just been having like one chocolate bar or I've had a cake and I've just had like one cake it hasn't been like I've eaten that and it's like oh okay and now I'm gonna eat this and now I'm gonna eat that like it would usually be it usually be like this cycle where that's actually quite a positive that although I've had a few days off plan I haven't felt the urge to overindulge or binge on certain foods which is something I'm really happy about actually because yeah yeah quite happy about that so it's not surprising that i've actually had a gain this week so i've gained one and a half pounds which i'm not i'm not too concerned about it's not massive amount which i've put on and i don't actually feel like i've put the weight on if you know what i mean do you know sometimes when you've had like a really heavy week and then like you feel like oh, i can feel it do you know what i mean don't you? i don't feel like that so i don't think i went overboard with it i've not had like takeaways or anything like that i've just had a few days where well more than a few days where i've not counted calories i'm not drinking wine either i'm, I'm drinking squash <laughs> um yeah so that's this week's weighing results so i think i haven't got my phone with me but i think at the top of my head then i've lost two no th two and a half pound in three weeks because i've had that game this week so we're still we're still on a loss but it's not it's not ideal for week three is it but um i do feel a lot more motivated for the week ahead i've picked up my food shop today so i've got that all ready for next week um i'm gonna have a little think tonight um about doing some food prep and just having in mind my teas I'm, I'm not so concerned about i kind of have them in my head when i do the food shop it's more like i would say it's dinner time i struggle more breakfast not so much um i can kind of rustle up quite a few different options for breakfast but when it comes to lunch that is where i do struggle a little bit and that's where i kind of just pick up like a packet of crisps or just make myself like a sandwich which then becomes like over 500 calories for a small sandwich which isn't actually filling so anyway i've waffled on enough but yeah that's this week's weighing results how i've got on this week and what the scales have reflected with this week so back on it next week i am feeling like i want to film a bit more because that does help me and I've, I've missed filming to be honest with you i feel like i've got in a bit of a i do this every so often like i get out of filming like what i eat in a day and things like that and then i struggle to get back into it but once i am into it i really enjoy it i hope that makes sense but yeah i do want to kind of get back into filming i would love to do it daily vlogs um but we will just see because every time i say that i never manage to do it so i'm not going to promise anything um but yeah i would love to get in the habit of like just picking up the camera every day i love doing that um it's just the editing i don't like doing so much so that's everything from me today guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up and i'll catch you in the next one take care everybody Bye bye